Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have one of my favorite book subscriptions and that is Authentic Books. This is the May Premium Edition and it was kindly sent to me for review. Now, one of the things I love about this book subscription is how customizable it is, starting with the fact that you get to choose between one of two highly anticipated novels each month, and then there are three different subscription tiers. There is the mini experience starting at $39 plus shipping. There is also the full experience at $49 plus shipping. And finally, there is this premium experience, which is $59 plus shipping, but they are all ones that you can do add-ons with if for some reason you feel like you actually want to read both of the books, you can definitely add on the second book as well. I just think it's so impressive that she actually winds up curating two completely different boxes every single month. She works with a lot of small businesses and the items that are included are always just so beautiful and they are just paired so well with the chosen novel. So in the mini experience, you're always going to get the booklet that kind of gives you, guides you through the experience. You're gonna get a self-care item, a customized bookmark that is made just for that book. Often the books come with author's notes or even signed. There's always a playlist and a candle because it's always speaking to all of the senses. So it's really an immersive experience. And then in the full box, you get all of those things plus an extra self-care item. And then you get to choose if you want a premium tea or a cocktail in ingredient. Of course, you can always use those to make mocktails at home too. I usually go with the cocktail ingredient. And then of course, if the tea sounded good, you could do that as an add-on. And then finally, there is the premium experience which adds yet another self-care item. They're often bath and body products. You wind up with a total of three in the premium experience, as well as some artisan chocolate, which of course is the reason that I would always highly suggest that premium experience if your budget does allow. For all of those subscriptions, if you use the code NOEL10, and you can save 10%. And as always, I will leave all of that information for you in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get back into it. Now, this looks like it's a kind of updated box. I always love the purple that's uh, the majority of the box, but this kind of has like a smoother finish to it. Now, some of you guys told me when I opened the special spring edition box that you'd already received your May boxes and you were blown away. So I am super duper excited. I'm always excited about this box. My husband is always excited about this box because he's always excited about the candle and the chocolate. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm just, you guys told me. So now the anticipation has been heightened for the past few days. So inside, this is what it looks like. And you guys can get a glimpse of the novel that I chose. I always think it's fun to hear from those of you who chose the other one. One of these days I will actually probably wind up choosing the other novel as an add-on, but right now my to be red pile is kind of crazy. I need a little oasis. I need a few like built-in reading days in my work week. So I chose Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I think I was just like intrigued by the cover of it because it has all these surfers and when I read the synopsis of it or like the hints about the book, it just sounded like a good summary read to me. Now, one of the other really cool things about this subscription, of course, is that she always donates 5% of the proceeds to some sort of organization. And right now it is going to the Adopt a Classroom Foundation supporting children's education and their educators. So I love Love that that's so cool any box that gives back is a-okay by me and then inside this is what it looks like so she does a nice little key so it tells you at the top of each product it tells you which sense it's supposed to be speaking to and which of those three subscription tiers that product appears in so you know if it's got an M it is in the mini box if it's got an F it's in the full box and obviously P for premium and then often there are actually page numbers that go along with some of the items. It doesn't look like I have any page numbers this time around, but that's okay because I don't really adhere to the page numbers anyway. I have so many authentic books books that I have honestly enjoyed all of the products, but I haven't actually gotten to get through the book quite yet. So I, now I don't feel as guilty because there's not page numbers for me to adhere to. Now she does also include along with the Spotify playlist, which just comes on this little card here. I always tuck all of these little extras right into 
the book so that I do have it available when I do get around to reading it. There's always a um, story eats, so there's always a recipe, and this time the uh, story eats recipe is roasted chicken. It looks pretty good. And then there's always, of course, a book cocktail that goes along with the cocktail ingredient that is included if you made that choice. Of course, obviously, even if you chose the tea option, you could still make the book cocktail. And this one sounds really good, you guys. It is strawberry rose mojito. So I don't usually like rose flavored things, but I love fresh strawberries and I do love me some mint in a mojito. And sometimes you can actually do the mojito. Oh, I see. I see how it is because sometimes I'll like kind of make a like minty uh, drink, but it is actually with vodka because that is my preferred liquor of choice. So it does say packed with love on the sticker and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It is definitely packed, you guys. This box is very plump, if I do say so myself. So it looks like here is our little bookmark. And this one always, it always has a quote on it from the book. It says, we will never be able to outrun the blood that runs through our veins. And it does have that image of a surfer with the beautiful glossy tassel. I love all my tassels on all of my authentic books, bookmarks. And then we have a candle. And of course this appears, the aromatherapy, the candle for the sense of smell appears in all subscription tiers and it was packed by Sheila. So thank you, Sheila. Um, so this is an actually uh, an in-house candle because she was doing a lot of collaborations with the Price Collective, but it sounds like she's going to go on to some other business endeavors and doesn't necessarily have time to devote so much to doing those great collabs with authentic books. So this one, it almost looks like I don't know, it looks like it came from an apothecary or from a library even. So it does have an authentic books label on it, which I think is awesome. It does say that it is a 100% soy wax and it does have a burn time of 25 hours. So let me go ahead and pull this out. Now, usually we do get like a match box and I feel like I missed it in my special edition box, but I love them so much. Um, still, we have a beautiful, a beautiful um, label. It's called Retro Beach. It's inspired by Malibu Rising. It's a santal and coconut, but look at that, you guys. It's got a surfboard, it's got the palms, it's got that beautiful blue water. So let's give it a sniff. Oh my gosh, and it is so pretty. We've got some beach glass, some shells, like little fragments of shells. So very beachy and very summery, and I feel like I did choose the right book. So it says, Retro Beach will take you back to that California beach in the welcoming ocean mist breeze. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this vacation in a candle. Ooh, it smells good, but it smells like it's got like... So it almost has like some spice to it. So I'm not really sure what Santal is, but that must be what it is. Cause I am smelling the like nice coconut, but the pairing makes it so it doesn't actually smell like, you know, like sunscreen or something. So that is lovely. Always love the candles. Those are the things that go first. You would not be like, you would be surprised. I actually usually go through the candle before I even get to the chocolate. So, all right, moving some stuff out of the way. We do have a lot of little like bubble wrap packages. So we probably got a lot of like bottles this time around. So let me go ahead and open this up. So this, oh, this is an interesting looking bottle. So this is a from a different brand than anything that I've gotten authentic books before. This is Mojito Splash. It's a mojito mixer. So um, cool. It says it only has 25 calories and it is five fluid ounces, but look at it. It's like a bottle, but it's almost got like a wrap on it. It almost looks like a little mini like wine bottle to me. So this is again by Splash Mixers and it's mojito. So I guess you just add that. Let's see. It says, yes, you use a one half cup of the mojito mix along with all of the other ingredients for that cocktail. So I feel like that's going to go pretty quick. It's only going to make a couple of cocktails and then you have to like make your own mojito mix. Um, or the other option for the full and premium boxes was a uh, loose leaf tea by Bisu Tea and Oolong Fire Flower. Ooh, that sounds kind of exciting too. All right, let's see. Our other little bubble wrapped item, I'm trying to get some of the black shred out of the way so it doesn't make a mess, came in this pretty light blue. So I love that they even like have it, the uh, the packaging kind of theme to it. We got two really pretty blue bubble wrap uh, bubble mailers here. So it goes with that beachy theme. This is by East Coast Scent Company. Oh, and it looks like it is a collab with Authentic Books. It's called Awakening Sea Salt Ozone. Oh, it's a natural room spray. So love that. So this would probably be one of our um, self-care items so, or 
goes with along with the sense of touch. So this is touch number two, which means it would be in the full and premium experiences. It says, Awakening is the perfect household spray for all your summery and beachy vibes, crashing waves, the hot sun, salty air. Spray this one for summer all year long. So this would be a great one to use later in the season. Oh, it does have the little bit of plastic wrap, but I was going to try to open it up so I could give it a sniff. So, ooh. Ooh, that's neat. So it does smell like kind of like sea spray. It's kind of got like a little almost like tanginess to it, like the sea salt, but I'm super into that. That's really nice. And it's very different. Like a lot of times, like I feel like room sprays can be either like, you know, fresh linen and they, they kind of all have that same like Febreze smell or they smell like really floral or they smell really sweet. And that one is very like unique, but still like clean. It smells really clean. So I'm into that. Next we have another really cool little container um, and this like just the branding itself goes with the box with the book selection it's the shore soap company endless summer body balm stick and it's two ounces but look at this nice little canister that it came in it's like a cardboard canister this is touch number three so that means it's only in the premium boxes it said who said beach days and summer nights had to end satisfy your summer craving year-round with this heavenly blend of orchid jasmine rose amber and musk with a sparkling citrus twist effect treats dry itchy or peeling skin so it's just like a I think you just like push it up but it's basically like a big chapstick it's a body balm stick so yeah I think you just push it up versus like um like screwing it or anything but I'll have to play around with it a little bit I'm not really sure let's see um I don't actually see if it says how to use it but I think you probably just push it up I'll have to figure it out but ooh, it has a very light scent to it I thought it was gonna have a lot of the oh now I got the orchid and now I got the jasmine. I'm not getting the rose or the citrus, which I'm kind of okay with that. But I have just I just have to figure out how to use it exactly. How, if, you, if you twist or if you push it up from the bottom or how you like get into that balm there. But very, very cool item. I don't want to like ruin it before I have an opportunity to take pictures because you guys know I like to take my photos over on Instagram. All right. Then we also have, yay, I'm so excited about this, some Compartes chocolate. They often do the chocolate for this box. And this is one we haven't seen so far, but it is very appropriate for this novel, for this box. It says California Dreamin'. It's dark chocolate brownies, you guys. And look, it's got a bear that's surfing. Um, so of course the bear appears on the California state flag. I was definitely screaming bear a whole bunch of times when we were in Yosemite. I just think this is so cute. My husband is totally gonna love this. This, not just because it's chocolate but also for the packaging which is adorable it even matches some of the artwork that I have behind me that you guys can't see that's above because that is the California wall so I feel like this is very much a California like surfer box which is basically a description of my husband anyway now our first touch the one that did appear in the mini boxes as well is a sheet mask from Lapcos and it's very blue it's in seaweed uh, so it says like a long drink of water our seaweed a lyocell sheet mask offers superior hydration for dehydrated skin helping to revitalize and fortify the skin barrier so the three touches you know that would go up along with the tears everybody would have gotten the face sheet mask and then if you had the full or premium experiences you also got that lovely linen spray that was a collab and then finally if you um, did the premium box, you got this really cool body balm that does smell really good. I just have to figure out how to use it. All right. And then finally is our book, which of course is always on the bottom, always provides a nice foundation in more ways than one. And it is a hardcover. I am very much a hardcover snob now, and I have only authentic books to thank for that. There is the authentic books little wax seal on there, which I love. This is actually a heftier book than I was expecting. But again, I love, love, love the cover of it. So let's see inside you guys, we do have a sign copy here so there's a little book plate in there with the author's signature and then we also have an author's note so this has been in the last couple of boxes where she actually kind of prints like a postcard and then she has the author's note on the back which I just think is such an awesome touch that she's been working with the publishers and the authors um, and I just think it's so neat to hear what they have to say about their inspiration or like the writing process and I just think that's a special touch to always keep with the book so let's go ahead and read a little bit about it so you guys can hear a little bit more about why I chose this novel. It says Malibu, 
August 1983. I was in fact alive during that time. I believe that was right about when I was about to move back to Maui. Uh, we were actually living in California at that time as a family. It says, it's the day of Nina Riva's annual end of summer party in anticipation as at a fever pitch. Everyone wants to be around the famous Rivas. Nina, the talented surfer and supermodel, brothers Jay and Hud, one a championship surfer, the other a renowned photographer, and their adored baby sister Kit. Just sounds like an annoyingly perfect family, doesn't it? Together, the siblings are a source of fascination in Malibu and the world over, especially as the offspring of the legendary singer Mick Riva. The only person not looking forward to the party of the year is Nina herself, who never wanted to be the center of attention and who has also just been very publicly abandoned by her pro tennis player husband. Oh, and maybe Hud, because it is long past time for him to confess something to the brother from whom he's been inseparable since birth. Jay, on the other hand, is counting the minutes until nightfall when the girl he can't stop thinking about promised she'll be there. And Kit has a couple secrets of her own, including a guest she invited without consulting anyone. By midnight, the party will be completely out of control. By morning, the Riva mansion will have gone up in flames. But before that first spark in the early hours before dawn, the alcohol will flow, the music will play, and the loves and secrets that shape this family's generations will all come rising to the surface. Malibu Rising is a story about one unforgettable night in the life of a family, the night they each have to choose what they will keep from the people who made them and what they will leave behind. So family drama, some mystery, some intrigue, some like cool like 80s vibes I'm sure so I'm really looking forward to this like I said just like the neon feel of the cover makes me think it's gonna have that like 80s fun and of course Malibu you know like you have all these ideas about Malibu and and all those perfect families it was like the perfect family before there were like influencers and Instagram for us to like plaster it all over a social media with so very much looking forward to it I love all of the scents that were in this box all of um the um the body products also seem awesome and I'm sure that that brownie chocolate bar is going to be phenomenal. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item in this box was. Let me know if you had an opportunity to read anything by this author or even this book itself without spoilers. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do check out Authentic Books. Great way to get your hands on some great reads and really customize a box that you are going to enjoy. Hope you hope to see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.